Hey, welcome to Algen's Money Bruiser. We talk about life and money over the brew of the day. Karen, what are you drinking today? I'm having a chai latte. And I'm having the usual quad espresso. Very nice. <laughs> So there's been a movement, a pretty significant movement called FIRE, and it's been gaining a lot of momentum. And not everyone is completely aware of what it is and what it takes to you know, get on FIRE. So do you mind, just real quick before we get started on this conversation, Karen, define FIRE for everyone. Yeah, so it's a very new concept, and it's pretty popular, especially with the younger folks, mm -hmm. the millennials uh, mainly. And it uh, stands for Financially Independent Retire Early. Ah, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it sounds really great, right? right? It sounds like the dream. Right, right, uh, right. Who doesn't want to retire early and be financially independent? Um, so that's kind of the the basics of just being able to save a lot of money. Actually, 25%, there's a, um, a guy, I guess okay. I should start with. There's a guy. His Mr. Name, Money Mustache, Mr. right? Mr. Money Mustache. Yeah. And he writes his blog. He's kind of one of the you know pioneer in this movement okay. and what the movement is about is just saving enough being really frugal with your money and so that you can retire early okay but i know that it doesn't necessarily mean that it's you're retiring as in you're not going to do any work it means something else it means just finding your passion and doing something that you love at that point uh, but there are some things that, you know, what do you think about the, the movement? So personally, I think it's great. I think everything about it is wonderful. As an aspiration, it's something to really motivate people to prioritize their values. Mm -hmm. that, at least that's how I understand it. When I think of financial independence and then add on the retire early piece of it, I don't think of retirement as quitting work, but no longer being distracted by financial obligations and being forced to take on jobs simply to satisfy your financial needs, right? Right. Uh, and when I think about our scarcest resource, which is our time, right? We always focus on money, and to a degree, that's kind of what FIRE puts an emphasis on in the beginning, is mm -hmm. to you know accumulate wealth so that you can do the things that are important to you. Time is a thing that we're most really we're, we're most struggling to maintain and we probably don't do a good enough job of prioritizing our time. Mm -hmm. And real quick math, when you really think about the time that you have on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, you got 24 hours in a day. We all have, that's the, that's the great equalizer is that we all have the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. You sleep eight hours a day, you work eight hours a day, Monday through Friday or perhaps seven days a week. When it's all said and done, about two thirds of your life is allocated towards activities that maybe are not your first priority or first choice. So if you can free up more of that time to allow yourself to do the work that really inspires you, fulfills you, and also have more time to spend with family, with friends, pursue creative expression, I think that in a nutshell, for me, that's what FIRE does. It, 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 it gives you a little space from just becoming in this automaton, robotic person just moving through life. I mean, what about you? Yeah, and I think that the, those followers of the movement, that's kind of the thought process that they should have. Now, you know, on the other hand, basically, you know, a rule, good rule of thumb in this movement is you save 25 times your annual salary okay. uh, so that you can be at a point where you can live off of your sa the savings, right. right? And you would only be taking about four percent a year of of this amount okay what i have an issue with is that it just makes you become you have to just be frugal basically for the rest of your life okay um and i think it's a little bit of a balance i mean the people that have been reading that have been following this movement that haven't even gotten there uh, and let me not let me just say it's not mr money mustache because he's making like four hundred thousand dollars a year on his blog that's not too bad for part-time work uh, I, yeah exactly but um the, you know the the regular people that want to get to this level you mean you're gonna just be completely eating rice and beans for the rest of your life i kind of have a problem with that I, I feel like there just needs to be a balance between you know pursuing your financial freedom but at the same time living life um you know in a mean in a meaningful in a meaningful way and um uh, and, and that also will have to deal with how you you know come about with this with this moment so so there's a lot of things that everyone, all of us should be considering mm -hmm. when we think about what work it requires first 
And second, what aspects of this really is motivating you to pursue it to begin with. Yes. Um, I, I, I agree with a lot of what you're saying, or at least I can see and understand uh, the perspective that you have. I also feel like it's very easy to, to really go down the traditional path in real you know, quick story, right? A person goes to college, goes to work, puts in their time with the business, saves the five, 10% that, you know, that's been prescribed and they retire at 65, mm -hmm. that there's nothing that necessarily indicates that they'll have enough, right? Or that right. they'll have had any more experiences because they're likely, while they're maybe they're not you know, saving and giving up uh, experiences that way, mm -hmm. they're probably giving up a lot of time. So yeah. it's, it's not a perfect system for anyone if it doesn't align with your values and ultimately that's what's most important. Yeah, and, and I, the other thing I do agree with is like you have to be debt free which is already a concept that you should just be dealing with right. if you want financial freedom, period. Right. So there are some good things about it, some things that I would be a little bit concerned about because they don't take into account what if somebody gets you know really ill or you know there's a disability later on. Sure. So, uh, there are some things that you might have to. So in that case, what what we say is just talk to some, get some help, get some professional help, sure. so they can kind of walk you through that concept and understand. Okay, what what could go wrong with this plan? Now that they don't want you to be part of it, because I think again, it's a great concept, but everyone, you know, it's financial advisors. Our our goal is for people to have financial freedom. But doing it in a way that they also take into the in, into account the things that could go wrong, mm -hmm. uh, so you have a really good plan um, to make this happen. Yeah, and ultimately that's that's what we want to that's what we want to leave you with. Fire is really it's about connecting your financial goals and really putting a plan to accomplish them. Whether it's retiring early, whether it's you know starting your own business, whatever that is for you, we want you to catch on fire. You know, we want you to get that momentum, that motivation, and pursue your goals. Work with an accountability partner, work with a financial professional to help you get there faster, honestly. So tell us what you think about fire. Are you chasing it? Are you trying to accomplish it? Do you disagree with everything that we've said? There's no bad opinion. Yeah, there's no right or wrong answer. Feel free to let us know in the comments below. And also don't forget to uh, share this video with everyone you know uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you so much. Come in and ask me for autographs. Well, when you do work that changes the lives of humanity, people, it resonates. It has an impact. Is that what Kim Kardashian does? No, I don't know. Well, no, not to speak disparagingly against her. I don't know anything about her. No, that's not why we're famous. Oh, okay. Just want to make the distinction, especially with the younger folks. And we that didn't think that so was going to happen. Funny. And